Welcome to Test It Tuesday! In this test video, I'm going to do an in-depth review on this robot vacuum cleaner. It's the Dirt Devil Spire M607. I've been using it for over a month now, so I think I have a pretty good idea of what the good points are and what the maybe not so good points are. So I'm going to show you how it works and I'm going to tell you how I feel about it. When the battery is charged and you turn the switch on, the robot starts moving immediately. The sound it makes isn't too loud. <laughs> for hard floors, the round brushes are perfect, but for cleaning short pile carpets, you need to remove the brushes. The bumper part of the spider has a rubber edge and is flexible. This helps to protect your furniture and ensures the spider to also go nicely along the edges. The robot moves in different modes, making sure your entire floor gets cleaned. Because the spider is pretty flat, it reaches spots that are hard to reach with your regular vacuum cleaner. You can customize the sensitivity of the fall sensors. Zero is for light floors and low steps, one for light floors and slightly higher steps, two for dark floors and even higher steps, and three for dark floors and high steps. When the battery goes flat, the robot lets you know by making a beeping sound every 60 seconds, making it easy to find him. You need to charge it for about 4 hours until the indicator light stops flashing. When the dust indicator light is on, you need to empty the dust container. Also tap the filter to clean it. my very long hair gets wound around the brown brushes. It doesn't cause any problems, but I remove it regularly, which is super easy to do. The spider can occasionally get caught underneath something. Usually it just wiggles its butt and frees itself, but when it can't and needs your help, it'll last by beeping. Free it and wait for it to start again on its own or just turn it off and on again. I place shoes in spots where I know it gets stuck and that works. I definitely recommend this product. It's a really good product in its price range. I bought it to not to replace my vacuum cleaner but just to help me out in between vacuuming and it works perfectly. I could even get away with just skipping vacuuming now and then if I wanted to. It's that good. But if you want one that does everything automatically for you and you don't even want to own a regular vacuum cleaner anymore, you should definitely look into the higher price range because this one does a great job but if I would go for something like that, if that would be my desire, then I would definitely look into the more expensive models because the battery will uh, not go flat as easily. Uh, they're a little more powerful in suction. They go to their uh, charging station on their own and they have tons of more options, which I don't need, but if you're looking to replace your cleaner altogether, then you might want those. So yes, I really like this product. He's my big help around the house now and I really wouldn't want to miss him anymore. <laughs> I hope this review is helpful if you're thinking about getting a robot vacuum cleaner or if you're just wondering what they're all about. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching. Bye!